Good evening, everyone. Today is the evening of, and I want to talk about something I've talked about before. It's kind of hit me like a ton of bricks lately, and that is the brevity of life, how quickly life goes by. Seems like just yesterday I was up in a farmhouse in Owen Park, Kansas. I was out watering the fruit trees, weeding the garden, picking black raspberries, and how quickly time passed by. You know, I was at that time when I was in Overland Park being raised in a farmhouse. Um, that was from that was from fifth grade through high school. I lived there. And now I'm sixty nine years old. It's hard to believe. Sometimes I have to pinch myself. You know, here I was in fifth grade, and now I'm 69 years old. It's just it's hard to believe how quickly time has passed by. You know, I have a friend of mine who says he's on the caboose of his life, Paul Stickle. He's 79 now, 10 years older than I am. I just learned today that a fellow that I had a lot of respect for, he was an electrician in Independence, passed away. I think he was 75 years old when he passed away, Jim Crane. But you know, time marches on, doesn't it? And we don't know how long we'll live in this life. But we know that unless Christ comes back, we all will die and we will come to face our Creator. And many people have put so much emphasis on money and materialism in this world and it doesn't satisfy. It's just a means to an end is all it is. And, you know, Time passes away, time is short. It'll be just a short time before we'll be standing in front of our Maker giving an account. I'm glad that we have the hope of eternal life. Ecclesiastes 3 6 says, Well, Ecclesiastes 3, 2 through 3, 6 says, A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. Well. Life does pass away very quickly. And we look back at our life and we often ask, did I spend the, did I prioritize my time as best I could have? Well, 
we know that God is sovereign over all things. That gives me a great deal of comfort to know that He is sovereign over all things. It's good to know that we cannot change our destiny by our People want to promote the free will of man and man's success and him picking himself up by his bootstraps and all of that. But God is the one who gives one the strength to do all things. And the bounds of our habitation are in his hands. It gives me a great deal of comfort when things don't work out the way I would have hoped. You know, sometimes we have great plans and they don't, they just don't seem to work out, do they? One thing that is, I've been taught through having a disabled son is that it doesn't matter what my expe expectations are. I cannot control the outcome of certain things as much as I might like to control them God is sovereign gives me a great deal of comfort I'm glad to know that Jesus Christ paid the price on the cruel and rugged cross of Calvary for his people <coughs> excuse me and that when we get discouraged and downhearted, we can look to Jesus Christ, who's the author and finisher of our faith. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, he despised the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Well, I hope you all are encouraged and just realize that life does go by really quickly. And it won't be long till this life as we know it will pass away. And we'll be with our Savior for eternity. May the good Lord be with you. Tonight is my prayer. God bless.